So first off, giving honor and praise to God. You know, if you guys have heard me speak, a lot of times I like to freestyle, but I know I'm on the clock, so I'm gonna read today. Thank you, distinguished members of the selection committee, fellow Aggies, my family, my friends. Standing here today, I accept the Aggie Impact Award, and I'm truly humble. A few years back, when I was running routes on Kyle Field, scoring touchdowns and breaking all-time records, I never imagined I'd be building routes to success for so many others back here in Aggieland and around the globe through my company's adventures. They say the best way to catch a football is to look it all the way in and finish the catch. Well, I've tried to apply that same focus, hard work, and dedication to everything I've done in my life. Born and raised in East Texas. I know y'all in here, we always deep it in him. Tyler Chapel Hill, County Road 25, and raised by my beautiful mother, Brenda Faye Lee. She instilled in me the pursuit of excellence, the drive towards greatness, and she never accepted anything less than that from me. Mama, I know you're looking down on me, critiquing and ready to give me immediate feedback. <laughs> but as a man now, I appreciate what you instilled in me because it created a never-ending desire to pay attention to detail in everything that I do. Love you, Mama. Thank you. I've always had big dreams. I've always felt deep within my heart I was set apart by God. But with that comes a lot of trials and tribulations, tests and barriers that will be put in your way as you pursue your dreams, and to test your resolve and prepare you for the journey that God has bestowed for each and every one of you. Coming out of high school, we had not signed a D1 football player in almost 10 years, and we were 1 and 19 going into my senior year. One game, guys. <laughs> 1 and 19. My goal of getting a scholarship seemed impossible. Everybody that I told that I was going to go D1 in the NFL shrugged it off, and I just kept the faith. But we know with hard work and faith, anything is possible. Ultimately, I ended up with three to five full academic scholarships, one to Rice, SMU, and amazing institutions like that. But I had 20 plus D1 scholarships to play football and I chose Texas A&M. I graduated on Friday, packed my car on Saturday, and moved to Aggieland with less than a thousand bucks to my name. As a two-star quarterback, my signing at A&M wasn't met with huge headlines, but little did they know they were signing a kid from East Texas who would set all-time records for wide receivers in the historic football program. I ended up starting as a true freshman and graduating as the most decorated receiver in the history of Texas A&M football. just to name a few. Three-time academic all-conference, which I'm most proud of. Two-time All-American honors. Two-time all-conference, first receiver in the history of A&M to do that. Two-time team captain, which is 150 guys on the team and is voted by players and coaches. Yes. 3,615 total all-purpose yards, 172 catches, 26 total receiving yards, 10 100-yard games, the Texas A&M All-Decades team for 2000s, and five catches, 128 yards, and two touchdowns when we beat the number one team in the nation, Oklahoma Sooners, at Kyle Field. That game was special. I was drafted by the Green Bay Packers and graduated from Texas A&M in that same year. My biggest goal in life that I set for myself when I was five years old was to get drafted to the NFL. I finally achieved that dream, but with triumph came trials and my career was cut short due to a, a neck injury on Monday Night Football. I was temporarily paralyzed, depressed, and didn't know what route my life was gonna go. My biggest prayer to God in that transition was God give me something that I can be passionate about. And he showed me real estate and entrepreneurship and challenged me to move back to Aggieland. Wow. At that time, I had met a beautiful 
young lady that was a longhorn. I love her anyway, past her faults. And I told her, God is calling me back to College Station. And she said, that Cowtown? Why are we going back there? But we moved back. So when my wife and I moved back to Aggieland in 2008, we didn't just see a place to live. We saw an opportunity to build something meaningful, to create lasting impact in the community that gave me so much. We saw barriers that needed to be broken down, areas of business that needed diversity, and different perspectives that were not in this market. We felt called to walk boldly into those spaces and build companies that would stand the test of time. You know, people often ask me what's harder, catching passes in the NFL or building a successful portfolio of companies. The truth is, both require the same fundamental qualities. My life's core values. I use an acronym, because you guys know as athletes, everything's an acronym. So EPIC, E-P-I-G-H. Excellence, passion, integrity, growth, and hard work are the core values that I live by. We started our first company in our early 20s, just my wife and I, no partners, no money raised, no mentors, and recently I just passed a major milestone going over four billion in sales and acquisitions from our career. Thank you. We also just inked a deal this week that takes us over 80 companies that we founded, acquired, or invested in under our Terrence Murphy Company's portfolio. Thank you. But this award isn't just about business success, it's about impact. It's about creating opportunities for others. Through our various ventures, we've helped create jobs, build homes, build neighborhoods, mentor students, teach kids and adults about financial literacy in underprivileged communities, and strengthen Aggieland in Texas. We've shown that Aggies can't not only compete at high levels of business, but we're meant to lead the way. It's who we are. Whether it's through our foundation and our Terrence Murphy Camp Football Finance and Faith, where we've had 2,000 kids attend, and we've had almost 350 kids give their life to Christ at our camp over the last couple of years. So thank you. <laughs> Ring Ventures at Texas A&M, I help fund and start supporting the next generation of Aggie entrepreneurs or giving back to our beloved university. We're constantly looking for new ways to make a positive impact. I stand here today as living proof that the Aggie spirit combined with hard work and faith can take you places and God can use your story to inspire others. Right when you think you hit a dead end in life, when I got paralyzed at 22, I thought life was over with. From all academic, all conference, to the NFL, from real estate investor to developer, from entrepreneur to venture capitalist, from husband to father, each chapter of my life has been built on the foundation laid right here at Texas A&M University. To my babies, Taryn, Tatiana, Terrence Murphy Jr., you guys are my legacy. And I know you guys will always do great things individually, but I want you to hear from dad. Your impact will be greater together as one unit. Our family core values is HF3Ls. We talk about it at our family huddle on Sundays. Hard work and faith, legacy, loyalty, and most importantly, love. To my beautiful wife, Erica, thank you for being my partner in every sense of the word. I would not be the entrepreneur, father, or man without you as my cornerstone in my life. To my family, my teammates, and coaches, thank you for the lessons. Some of my teammates are here tonight. And to my team at Terrence Murphy Companies and all of our director of ops and employees for continuing to believe in the support and the vision that we've created here in Aggieland. As I close, this award isn't just mine. It belongs to every person who's been a part of my journey, every Aggie who has trusted me, with their dreams and every member of our community that supported it. Let this award serve as an inspiration to current and future Aggies. Your impact can extend far beyond what you can see. And finally, thank you to my Father in heaven for writing my story and your guidance and never leaving me nor forsaking me. Hebrews 13, five and six. Thank you and give them. Thank you, brother. Yeah. 
Everybody build, man. Y'all stand up and show us some love, man. This brother.